So let's talk about problem 5-5 five -five now. Explain why a 50% recovery of single crossover products is the upper limit even when crossing over always occurs between two linked genes. So let's start with uh, our favorite genotype here. So big A, big B, over little a, little b, and I'm going to draw a tetrad, just a simple tetrad. And um, well, let me erase that one. I want to draw. I'm going to draw one chromosome first. Let's put big A nope, up top, big B down here, and then let's draw another chromosome here. So this is the homologous chromosome and I have a crossing over happening there. A chiasma is forming and we have little a here, little a here, little b here, little b here. Now as a result of meiosis and, and because of this crossing over that's going on here we're gonna end up with four different types of genetically different gametes. So A and B are on this chromatid, and they're going to go there. And then we have a crossing over happening here. So little a is going to go with B, big B. And here, big A is going to go with little b. And here, little a with little b. So these gametes on the end are the non-crossover gametes. And these two here are our crossover gametes. So one thing you should be able to notice is that we have one tetrad here. This one, 100%, are crossing over between genes A and B, but only 50% of our gametes are uh, uh, recombinant gametes, um, result from crossing over. So even when all of the tetrads, 100% of them, cross over between our two genes of interest, we are only going to see 50% um, of single crossover products. Only 50% of the gametes will show that single crossover. So, and, and the reason for that is within a tetrad or within every tetrad, you know, at least 50% of the gametes are going to be non-crossovers because those you have that one pair of non-sister chromatids that does not participate in the crossing over event. And in this case, it's this one over here and this one over here. So again, 50% is the upper limit. Even when a crossing over always happens between your two genes of interest, where you're not going to see more than 50% of the gametes uh, showing that crossover genotype. Okay, I hope that made sense.